In this video, I want to show you how to customize the blog layout for your Buddy Boss team. Okay, so the Buddy Boss theme is a very, very powerful membership site theme. When I did the review on it, I called it possibly the perfect membership site theme. And as many of you guys know, the Blog Marketing Academy is now running on the Buddy Boss theme. But some people have obviously meant seen that the blog does not look like the Buddy Boss theme. And in fact, the Buddy Boss theme has a very simplistic blog template built into it. It leaves much to be desired and ain't that nice. And that's the thing. It's like Buddy Boss theme has its things that it's built very well for. It styles the LMS like LearnDash really well. It's obviously got those community features to it. But other things, it actually leaves mo a lot of it to you. And so when you go th into the Buddy Boss theme options, there's a, a handful of things that you can control about the blog setup as far as the blog index and the blog posts themselves. But it's just very simplistic. It's not that great. And so, but there is a way that you can do something about it. It is what you're seeing right now if you're on blogmarketingacademy.com with all the blog templates. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do it using Elementor Pro. So I'm behind the scenes here with blogmarketacademy.com and I want you know, if you go into the Buddy Boss theme options, you've got the theme options here, okay? And if we go to blog, this is pretty much what you've got as available options for the blog layout as built into the theme. So you can control what the blog archive setup looks like. The standard one is this, where you just got the little sidebar and it just lists things. You can do masonry and you can do grid and that's, but those are your options. You pretty much don't have anything else. And then when it comes to the single blog post, you could choose where you want your feature image, whether you want a full width or not, whether you want a sidebar. And you got some built-in functionality for related posts, author boxes, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing, all the, this is basically just turning things on and off. You don't have any ability to style anything particularly outside of some fonts and some basic colors. Um, and in order to, to really take that much control over the Buddy Boss theme, uh, as it sits all by itself, you pretty much have to set up a child theme and get nerdy with it, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Now, if we pop over to the Buddy Boss website and we look at their list of integrations and we go over to their page builders, you can see the ones that it works with. It works with Beaver Builder. It works with Thrive Architect, which you guys know I'm a massive fan of. It works with Elementor Pack for Elementor, which is cool. And one called WP Bakery, which I admit I'm not particularly uh, familiar with, although I have heard of it before. But notice how each of these say it's compatible, okay? Those are compatible page builders, which means that you could build pages with these things and that you can make them appear inside of the Buddy Boss theme framework. And it will work. I actually used Thrive Architect for a while alongside the Buddy Boss theme and it worked out fine, but it wasn't as if I could take over aspects of the Buddy Boss theme with it. So if we come down to the bottom, you'll see that Elementor Page Builder, which of course is a very popular page builder, is called their official integration. It's This is deeper than just being compatible. And it, this is why we're the, if you're using the Buddy Boss theme and you want to be able to modify certain aspects of it, you absolutely need to be using Elementor. I really would not be recommending another one. And quite frankly, as much as I like Thrive Architect, this is a big reason why I'm not using Thrive Architect anymore on Blog Marketing Academy itself. It's because Elementor just works so closely with the Buddy Balls theme. So I kind of had to just <laughs> comply. I had to get used to the Elementor page builder. And I've actually, I've come to really respect Elementor. It's actually a really fantastic page builder. It's not quite as fast in some ways as Architect, but it does a lot. And I'm about to show you how you can use Elementor to take over the blog theme. So popping back over to the uh, Blog Market Academy, we go to over to our menu structure. When you have Elementor installed, you'll have this thing called templates. And we're gonna pop over to Theme Builder. You might be hearing my dog bark in the background. That's cool. Um, and um, so you can see that I've got two of them here. This one is just a little test thing I was screwing around with. And so, but we've got two uh, blog templates in place uh, in the Theme Builder. What these are are single post templates. So if we popped over here to single post, you should see the exact same ones. There they are, because that's the type. But you can see that you can use Elementor to design headers, footers, pages, archives, 
search result pages. I mean, you get the idea. You could take over aspects of the theme itself and build them using Elementor, okay? And so what I did is I created uh, a couple of templates, one for blog posts and one specifically for blog posts that have uh, the format of being a video post, okay? Which is something that um, Buddy Boss supports just fine, all right? And so if I pop this open, well, first of all, let's act like we were creating a new one. You you click on add new. Now I did that and it created this little draft thing. So let's open this up with Elementor and let me show you what we got. So here's Elementor, it's open. There's nothing here at the moment, uh, but you can see that you have all the tools over here and you can drag any of them over there and you can start to, to design this template visually the way that you want. Now, the parts that you're gonna want to use for the blog templates are under the single category. You got post title, you got post excerpt. So if I were to drag the title over, well, wherever that goes, that's where we're going to start dropping uh, our templates for our, sorry, for our uh, blog post title. And it's pulling in one of my more recent blog posts. But obviously, since we're building a template, then this would be whatever blog post that I'm looking at, it's going to have a different title there. So if we pop back over here, you'll see that you use the same thing. If you want to pop your, your post content in there, you just drag that underneath it. And there's the content. So these are literally theme elements that you're dragging in. And then when you select it, you can control different things with formatting and how you want to look. And so that's how you're doing it, okay? So let's exit this. And since this is a blank one, and I'll just pull up one of my own templates, go back to the builder. Under theme builder, let's open up my blog post template. And you guys should see that this looks kind of familiar because this is literally the template for blog post here at the Blog Marketing Academy, at least as of this recording. This is a the post title that I dragged in just like I just showed you. This is the post excerpt. This is the feature image. This is the content down here. But the, I, all these were just dragged over as these tools and I played around with different things and put them in a column and all that and, and designed the template comments the author box this is a little call to action box that I designed here but you could visually do the entire template this way now going back to the theme builder page this is like the like a, almost like the classic layout here but you can see I'm getting this thing for trying the new intuitive and more visual than ever thing so this is the theme builder that is really nice. It's got a really nice interface. Let's open this bad boy up. You can see that it's very visual. Um, you know, it's showing, uh, let's see, under single post, you can see the, there's kind of what my posts look like. This is for the video posts. And basically these two templates are pretty much identical. Um, it's just the one I'm actually embedding a short code for Presto Player because it dynamically pulls in the video that I attach to the post. That's for my video templates. For everything else, it's just pulling in the standard feature image. Okay. So, but there it is. Now the part that I wanted to show you on there is this under edit conditions, this, when you open this up, this is where you start to, de to determine when and where these templates will actually be used. And so you're going to have a series of conditions that you can either do include or exclude. Now, this, this drop down looks a little weird right now, but basically for my video template, it was saying I will include in the format that these are posts that are in the format. And this is actually supposed to say video. I actually don't know why it's giving me a category there, but you can see that if I do this, it's pulling up properly the uh, format of the video post, which is actually there. So I don't know why that's happening, but we, you, you have a lot of them. If we wanted to add another condition, all, all singular, if we, if this was on a home page, you would select the template for, to go on your front page, uh, for a blog post. Since that's what we're talking about, you can make different categories. You know, if like, if the blog post is assigned to a particular category, you can make it show a different template different tags, formats, which we already covered. You can have all of your blog posts from different authors have different looks and feel. You have a lot of capability here. And you can see as we look, go down the, the thing that you have other post types in here, you could put it for learn dash courses, but you can see as by using include rules and then if necessary, exclude rules, you can determine where this template's gonna get used and where, when it matches those criteria, it will override Buddy Boss itself, okay? So to give you an idea, let's go back to, th this is obviously for uh, all video post templates. And here's the one for all everything else essentially. So if we open up those, you'll see that it's saying include all blog posts, 
Okay, and then I exclude, once again, this drop down is acting strange, but it would say, I'm gonna exclude all the ones that are of the format of video. And the reason I'm doing that is because I've got the other template that does that, okay? So that's how it is. And if you only had one and you weren't using different types of templates, you just say, uh, include all blog post, all. Good, and actually all is probably gonna be pre-selected for you. So you would just say all blog post. You know, or all singular would probably even work as well. And you will then create your template visually and it will take over for Buddy Boss itself. So that takes care of the individual blog post, which is the single post template, okay? But what about the blog index itself that actually list out your latest post and stuff like that? Well, uh, in a lot of themes, you go to the settings inside of WordPress and you sort of select your post page along with your home page. But uh, you don't have to do it that way. Let me go back and I'll show you how to just simply use Elementor to design your blog index as well. So under the settings for WordPress, very often with a lot of themes, this is where you actually select the stuff. You'd have a particular template already built and you select your home page and you select your post page and whatever page you select would sort of become the blog index page. But the thing is, obviously I don't have anything selected there. And that's because I designed my own. And so if you go under pages on my site here, um, this the interface is different because I'm actually using a plugin to nest pages and make it a little bit more presentable. But I do have a blog page. I simply called it blog, okay? Really simple. If we go into the uh, the main interface here, um, you know, it's, there's nothing there if you look at the, at the Gutenberg editor, okay? And that's because I edited it with Elementor. So here we go. Let's open up Elementor. The, now again, this is just a standard page, okay? Um, and if we go to the settings for the page, you'll see that I'm using the Elementor full width page layout, okay? And the reason I do that is so that it, it will include the header and the footer and all the, 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 the basic framework of Buddy Boss, but then it gives me a full width blank slate that I went and designed my own blog index page with. So this top row is just, a, it's a call to action to, to subscribe for the edge and stuff like that. You can ignore all that. Scroll down, you'll see that we have a list of the latest blog posts. And all this is, is uh, the post widget that's built into WordPress, or sorry, it built into Elementor. So if we go over here, this is for Elementor Pro, of course, there's the post thing. You just drag that in and that's all I did. Now, if you want to look like what I have, obviously you, you mess with the options. Once, you, once you've got it, you can you know do different skins and you can do how many columns you want. You can play around with all these options over here on the left side to make it look how you want. This is how I've got it to look on mine and that's the way that I like it. But you may want yours to look a little bit different. Now, of course, this post uh, widget or whatever you want to call it for Elementor comes with the page links in there automatically. So basically, we created ourselves a full blog index page even though that we that it's not like we're telling WordPress to do anything particular we just created a page now of course we now have a page it's called blog and what do we do we just go and add the word that blog page to our navigation and stuff like that so that we have a blog in our page and it will be obviously very separate from the home page and stuff like that and that's how we get the look so if we pop over to the blog marketing Academy and sell um, obviously logged in, so the homepage looks a little different, but this is the blog index page I just showed you. Now, being that I'm logged in and I'm already a member of my own site, the, the edge call to action does not show up at the top, so you don't see that. But everything else here looks exactly like I just showed you in Elementor, and that's because I designed it with Elementor, and it's literally just a page on the site. Okay, so that's it. That's how I customize the blog setup here with uh, Buddy Boss theme. Even though my, you can tell my blog looks nothing like default Buddy Boss, that's how we did it. It's just simply using Elementor, specifically Elementor Pro. If you want some of the, the ability to really work with Buddy Boss really well, create nice member dashboards and all kinds of cool stuff, you need Elementor Pro. Um, and it's a, it's a good product, uh, very handy, and it does a lot of cool things like working with the theme and stuff like that. I mean, to Elementor's credit, 
it. It did all that for actually quite some time. They've been playing with the interface and all that. Thrive Architect can never do it. When they came out with Thrive Theme Builder, well, they really knocked it out of the park with that as far as Thrive themes go. But none of that stuff works with Buddy Boss. Elementor Pro does, and so there it is, and it works out really well. Okay, so hopefully that helped you out, showed some people how to make Buddy Boss into something they like, and don't, you're not stuck with everything that the Buddy Boss theme looks like right off the bat. You actually can change some stuff. You just do it with Elemental Pro. Once again, a reminder, um, if you like videos like this, you want to know how to you know, use WordPress to power an online business and kind of merge business and WordPress together, subscribe to the channel because that's kind of what we do here now. All right, and I will talk to you later.